morning students welcome to the second day online class for 11th standard so we are going to continue the same computer system organization chapter 1 so till now we discussed about the computer system organization architecture and mobile system architecture so today let us see about the software so what does mean by software software means it is a organized instructions or code that is set of instructions so the all the set of instructions are called as a software so this software is written by programmers using any one of the computer high level languages so there are lot of languages are available nowadays like c c++ java python dotnet etc so can use any one of the computer languages and write the set of instructions that is called as a software so once the code is written that is used for different purposes so we'll see what are the different types of softwares are available in a computer field in a next topic so the next one is a types of software so there are three different types of softwares are there one is application software second one is system software and the third one is a utility software so in application software it handles the common task suppose if many user wants the same task for using one of the software means the software was developed based on their user requirements for example suppose banking needs a software or hotel management needs a software or school management needs a software so one common software was developed and then use it for their purpose so that kind of software is you called as a application software so in this application software one common example is word processing so nowadays we are used to type the documents in a word so that word processing is a one of the common application software and the second one is a system software so what is the use of system software is this system software it controls the functions of a computer the entire functions of a computer and also it hides the complexity of a computer system from user and application software so how to uh, overcome if any complexity occurs from the user to application it debugs or it controls the entire operations and it, it trouble shoot that particular process so etc will do it in a system software so example operating system so once you install an operating system we can do anything in this system software so compiler and interpreter these are the different kinds of system software so in the system software it controls the basic functionality as well as it hides the complexity of a computer system from the user and the software and the last type of software is a utility software so this software is help to manage maintain and control computer resources so this software is very very important because this particular software only do many computer resources suppose in your um, system any virus occur so automatically it will affect the entire system so to avoid that one we can install antivirus software so if sub if the antivirus is not in your system or if your antivirus is not updated this utility software only indicates that 
your antivirus is not in a uh, not updated message okay and another one is the backup software suppose if any problem occur in your system so automatically it tells the user to take the backup of all the information so like that it helps to manage and control the entire computer resources that is the use of utility software so these are the three different software types are available in a computer feed so now we'll see in brief about each and every types so the first one is a system software so already i told the system software it controls the entire operation of a computer system so this system software is divided into two types one is an operating system and another one is a language processes so both are very very important in system software so what is operating system so operating system is a one of the system software it controls and manages the entire computer resources okay so that is the use of operating system so in this diagram see this is your operating system there are different resources are there monitor is one of the resource application program is another resource drive is another resource mouse printer keyboard so there are different resources are there so this operating system only it controls and manages all these resources so see here this disk drive is used to perform both input and output operations that's why this two arrow mark is given application program is also used for input and output process monitor is you are displaying the output only keyboard is you are giving a input to the system printer is getting the output so like that the um, arrow mark displays whether the operating system send a request or managing the request or it displays the output in a um, through the operating system so this particular operating system only it manages the entire resources so that is the main main functionality of your operating system so it, this uh, particular operating system acts as a resource manager so this resource manager controls the entire resources example there are different kinds of operating systems are available we heard many kind of operating system terms windows everybody heard this name microsoft windows and solaris linux mac os ubuntu apple iphone everyone has heard this particular term so these are the different kinds of operating systems in a computer and the next one is how the operating system works okay so in any computer or if you are using a smartphone the operating system is a backbone of both the devices if it is a computer or mobile device this operating system is a backbone for example suppose you are a user so your user and you are developing on software so this software is send it to the hardware through the operating system so like that this operating system works so with the use of operating system that is the backbone of entire computer system or smartphone so whenever it comes to a software that software acts through the operating system only so it is a interface this operating system is a interface between the machine and the user so this is a user user and this is a machine computer so you uh, for any connection between user to the computer this operating system is a interface of both the things okay so this operating system does two things 
this operating system does two things one is already i said it manages the entire hardware resources of the computer system the entire resources of the computer system and the second one is it is an interface between the user and the system so these are the two things done by the operating system it's a very very important concept whenever if anybody asked about the operating system these are the two information of operating system one is an interface between the machine and the user and the second one is that it manages the entire resources of the computer system both the points are very very important by asking operating system and the next one is functions of operating system so this operating system is perform many number of functions so there are uh, what are the functions are available is the first one is a processor management processor management is cpu so um, whenever we have any task is given to the cpu this operating system what will do in the processor side is it loads the task schedules the task and execute the task suppose if uh, five tasks are given in the processor at the time all the five tasks are loaded into a processor next one is schedules so depends on the priority of your task suppose if the third task is a highest priority automatically it schedules the third one as a first for execution so like that it loads the process schedules the program and execute the process that is the function in processor management in memory side memory side what the operating system will do is it allocates and deallocation of memory for program execution already in a computer system organization we discussed about the memory management so what is the use of memory management is it is a temporary memory only so once the task is completed it clears the memory for next task so that is the functionality of memory management okay so this memory management uh, will do the allocation as well as deallocation of memory for program execution so that is done by the operating system and in device management side input devices and output devices it communicate and controls suppose if the user send a request to the system so at the time it communicate and control from so for example suppose you are entering some values through the keyboard so at the time it communicate from the keyboard to the cpu from the keyboard to the memory so like that it controls and communicates the input and output devices and the next one is storage management so storage management is it may control the storage devices so storage devices is used to for storing the data for permanent purpose so for example in cd rom dvd and uh, for some portable device means that is uh, those devices are called as a st- uh, permanent storage devices so it manages and controls the storage devices to provide space to save the program for execution so it check it, uh, it will check the uh, particular device whether the disk is full or whether the disk is um, having a space so everything is ma- checked in by the operating system so depends on the availability of a space it manages and controls the storage device and the next one is application interface application programming interface api means application programming interface it provide a way for applications to make use of hardware subsystem suppose if you are using any applications for example uh, if you are using microsoft excel so in this time this how to provide a way for uh, this uh, microsoft excel to use in the hardware subsystem so that is it provide a way for how to use that particular application in your system so that is the functionality of operating system and user interfaces 
structure of interaction between the user and the computer where when suppose if you are new to the new to uh, use the computer means there are some logos are available so if you see the logo itself you can understand what is the use of this logo so that uh, that is called as a interaction between the user and the, that structure is called as a interaction between the user and the system so the user interface is also um, good in a computer because of this operating system so before the windows operating system and all, we used disk operating system dos prompt so in dos prompt and all it's not an icon based so everything is a command based so if you know the commands only you can use the system easily otherwise it's not possible to use the uh, system uh, in a this uh, dos operating system but after the implementation of windows operating system everything is a image based everything is a icon based so whenever if, uh, if you click any one icon it will show the it will uh, do the some functionality of that icon so easy to understand the interface is easy to interact with the user and the system so that is done by the operating system so these are the different functionalities in a operating system and the next one is uh, types of operating system there are different types of operating systems are also available one is a single user single task operating system so in these kind of operating system work on only one task at a time and only one user so already i said one of the before the windows uh, there is a disk operating system so the disk operating system if you have open the disk operating system so unable to open others windows other screens so after the mm, completion of your operating system only it's possible to uh, go into the desktop side so that is a single user single task operating system only one user and one task at a time second type is single user multitask operating system so nowadays we are using a windows there are lot of versions are there um, so in that windows operating system single user use multi process for example suppose you are downloading one file at the same time you are typing one document so after uh, you download that particular file so during the processing time you can do the uh, typing also so here downloading process also going on at the same time the typing work is also going on suppose if you want to print a, uh, one document in a print in a output device at that time that work is also perform without disturbing the other work so in this kind of operating system work on more than one task as well as it process uh, concurrently at the same time that is the single user multitask operating system and the third one is a multi user operating system so here multiple users are allowed to access the same data suppose if you want to access the same data or information at that time through the network means multiple users are allowed to use example is if you suppose if you are installing unix operating system or linux or windows 7 and all at the same time if network is connected means at the same time multiple users are allowed to access the same data or information and the next type is multi processing operating system here single process run on two or more process so only one process it runs more number of processes so all the processing or uh, takes place in a parallel way that is multiple process of doing their work parallelly so this kind of oe support parallel processing so it similar like a previous type that is multi user operating system embedded operating system means you are embedded the, this operating system in a some other application you are embedding this device in this op, uh, operating system in a some other a device which is located in room example in a microwave device microwave system you are using 
any one of the operating system to do that task or example suppose washing machine so that machines are worked based on the depends on the operating system so this kind of embedded operating systems are also available and the last one is a distributed operating system so in this operating system the computers work in cooperation with each other that is two or three operating systems are um, cooperated with each other and do their task so these are the different types of operating systems are available the next one is language processors so the second uh, category of system software is language processor so what is the use of this uh, language processor is it is used to, to translate the source code into object code or machine code so in the beginning itself in the computer system architecture itself i said uh, normally whenever we enter any data the data is not send it in uh, send it as usual that is all the data are converted into a machine language that is zeros and ones so how the data are converted into a machine code is with the use of language processors so there are two different types of codes are there the one code is called as a source code the other code is called as a object code source code means suppose if the programmer written a program using any one of the high level languages called as a source code suppose if you are sitting in a lab and do some programs using any one of the programming language that is called as a source code and object code means the same code whenever you um, run that particular program that programs are interpreted into a machine language or binary code zeros and ones so that kind of language is called as a object code that language can understand easily only by the computer and it runs on hardware so that are the, that is the use of object code so these two different kinds of codes are available in a language processors so this language processor has three different types assembler interpreter and compiler so what is the use of assembler means already one of the language to be used and the beginning itself um, that is beginning um, in your fundamental concept uh, all these things you studied uh, assembly language high level language uh, so each and every languages are doing some purpose so assembly language means it is a pre uh, coded uh, instruction sometimes four coded instructions are there so depends on that instruction only that program will execute so if your coding is a assembly language coding based then automatically your assembly language programs are converted into a machine language with the use of assembler only if your program written in assembly language means but interpreter and compiler and all if your program written in high level language at that time it translate and execute the instructions line by line in interpreter side each and every instructions are interpreted line by line if any one mistakes done in the first line till not go to the second line so till that correction is rectified then only it goes to the next line so it translates and executes the instructions compiler what is the use of compiler is it translates and executes the instruction in one go that is can type all the statements all the instructions finally we can convert it into a computer language so that are, that is the use of compiler and the interpreter so these compiler interpreters or returning uh, sorry uh, that programs are returning high level languages so that's all about in system software so system software are categorized into two different parts one is a operating system and other one is a language process system and uh, operating system it done two different ways one is a 
middle man between the user and the computer and it controls the entire resources that are the two different things and uh, second one is a language processor language processor converts the source code into a object code there are three different types assembler interpreter and compiler assembler it converts the assembly language into a machine language interpreter and compiler are written in a high level language and converted into a machine language what's the difference between interpreter and compiler is interpreter converts each and every instructions line by line but compiler is it executes the instruction and translate the instructions in one go the next topic is application software the second kind of software is a application software so application software means it is a set of programs to carry out the operations for a specified application one common uh, if the user wants the common application already in i mentioned in the previous uh, slide itself suppose if many users want the same task for example in a bank side many of them ask the same task at the time the specific application the specific software is used for the for each and every purpose depends on that user requirements so that is the use of application software so this is divided into four different categories packages customized software utilities and developer tools okay the first one is the packages so what is the use of packages it is a general software that is designed and used by each and every individual users based on their requirements suppose if one user wants um, wants the software depends on their requirements means depends on that requirements we are designing the software that is called as a packages okay some common packages are nowadays we are using some common packages like word database management graphics multimedia presentation software spreadsheet so these are the different common software so any users can generate information or generate the software depends on their requirements okay so that is packages and the next one is utilities so utility is another kind of application program uh, sorry another uh, sorry, it's application program and it's a one of the type of software so this is a very very important in computer system why it is important is it is mainly manage and control the entire housekeeping functions that is back up the desk or scanning or cleaning the viruses or arranging information or if you want to compress the files you can compress your files so there are it, it will do lot and lot of functions so all the housekeeping functions are done by the utilities this utility is very very important in a computer system so many all the utilities are available in your control panel so in a control panel we can take all this utility functions so some common utilities are text editor suppose if you want to create or editing a text file you can use text editor second one is a backing up backup utility suppose if you are going to reformat your system so at that time you need to backup your data that utility program will manage all the backing up of this third one is a compression utility suppose if you are sending a large file so it's not possible to send uh, send a large file in your mail system at that time you can compress your file and then send it to the destination that is the use of compression utility it reduces the file size so that is done by the utility disk defragmenter next one is so this disk defragmenter is it's mainly used to, to rearrange the files and give us free space for your computer okay so when you are going to install a um, you know, software at that time the software so store it in one of the disk drive and your personal files are stored in other drive 
so like that you can rearrange each and every drives and allocate a space for each drive so for example in a system there are different drives are available c drive d drive if you want you can fragment the different disks so normally c drive is mainly used for storing your all your softwares so d drive is used for our storing our personal files so once you uh, rearrange these disks and allocate the space of each and every drive it's very very easy to rearrange the files according to your space so the files are stored in a contiguous units and also space is allocated for the particular drive that is the use of disk defragmenter and the next one is antivirus software so this utility program ensures virus free environment if any mal pro mal viruses um, uh, happen in your system it will corrupt the entire functions of your computer system so to avoid that one this say when you install any antivirus software that will help to um, uh, avoid the prevent all the viruses in your system so this utility program it ensures whether your system is a virus free system or not suppose if the if your antivirus software is um, uh, updated or if your antivirus software, software is not updated it will give a warning message to change uh, update your software also so these are done by the utility software so that's all about utilities so uh, finally today we discussed about the softwares so softwares are three different types application softwares system softwares and utilities so that's all in chapter 1 so go through the entire slides once again and i have given some assignments so all these assignments are based on the uh, about um, topic only so go through it and do this assignments so that's all about in this chapter thank you